What's going on? I'm just going to quickly show you guys what I have uh, set up for the DM24 control and cue base. On the DM24, you have three layers of fad faders over here. You have layer one, two, and layer three. Um, channel one through 16, 17 through 32, and then the master uh, layer. What happens here is that the master layer, you're going to be able to control um, 14 channels, but no pans on there, only mutes. And then on the channels 1 through 16 and 17 through 32, you're going to be able to, to control uh, fader level and pans and mutes. So the way that I set it up for myself was that I took the master channel and I set that up in Cubase to be my a template to be the first um, 14 tracks, which I set up as reverb. I basically set these up as group channel tracks, so I, I submix everything down into these group channel tracks. And so the first eight channel or 14 channels here, I have um, reverb, uh, verb two, delay one, delay two, effects one, effects two, then vocal lead, uh, vocal backup, drums, bass, guitar lead and keys um, and then I have an extra track and those as you can see here on my mixer that I have down on the, the bottom which is my group channel tracks when I'm on the master fader layer I can control all of those with the Cubase uh, with the faders here on the DM24 and then vice versa if I go here uh, you'll see the faders on the DM24 move as I as I move these faders down um, the same thing happens for mutes you can see the light came on here, and then I can unmute it in Cubase. Um, so that's the first 14 channels that I have there, and I have this set up as a template so that every time I load this up, the first 14 channels in Cubase load up as these group channel tracks. Then if I switch to ma the first master layer, up on top in Cubase, I have um, the next channels in Cubase number-wise. After the 14, I have one, uh, 16 more and then 16 more, since you can have up to 32 channels controlled in, in um, on the on the DM24. So as you can see here, as I move the faders up on the DM24, I can go ahead and I can control all of those, and I can go to the second layer, and then you can see some of the the faders moving over here to the right as I move as I move these. Um, I'll go back to the first set here, and I'll just move this up and down. So I'm working on this one. The pan actually here will work. You can see that up here. Um, the, the pan is, is moving. And then of course the mute across all of these channels will work. Um, a quick way to show that all the mutes work across the board is I can press a solo here on one of the tracks and you'll see all of the, the mutes line up. Or if I unmute this you'll see that the ones uh, that were not muted before go away. And that's basically the DM24 that I have set up here for Cubase. So um, I just have a scribble strip here with my standard template that I set up here so that I know where everything is. Uh, it works out pretty well for me. It gives me again 14 channels to submix into which are just group channel tracks and then I have two more layers here of faders that I can go through and do all my submixes in which gives me uh, 32 channels for mixing for you know um, what I submix into things like all your guitar tracks and your vocals and your backups and everything I, I submix those into into groups which are basically stems that I then go and mix in Cubase so I'm gonna post up some of the screenshots from from the DM24 and from Cubase up on my blog so you guys can see that and hopefully it helps a couple of you guys out because this was a real struggle to get this working but now that I have it with this 24 inch monitor over here set up it is a very very sweet uh, set up and I just lost the focus here but you guys get the get the picture um, and that's it I hope it helps you guys out one follow-up here is that um, on the DM24 I also have um, oops, I'll get the focus back in there uh, follow-up here is that I actually have the the transport buttons working the play so you can see the green light is working there um, and then if I actually go into Cubase and I just arm a track for record, I'll just put on like a record on the vocal lead. You can hold the record button to press play, and that will actually kick off the record. Let me bring the Cubase uh, transport button over here so you can see see that now that it's actually recording. Um, I press stop and it stops, play and it plays, um, and then actually the rewind, uh, which I don't have up there, you can see that, but you can't see that because I have it on the 30-inch uh, monitor next to this. But uh, the, rew the rewind and fast-forward buttons work. But um, 
they're a little less useful to me because it's a it's a continuous rewind fast forward it's not skipping to the beginning of, or uh, to any markers or anything like that so that's just another benefit of this uh, template and that's it all right hope you guys uh, enjoyed this and hope you guys anyone who has DM24s out there like I do can really make this board kick butt in your uh, setup with a Cubase all right cool